guys, so today I would like to share to you about accidents at sea or port hazard. You need a maritime lawyer. An experienced maritime attorney like Todd Frisch can be the difference in maximizing your claim and getting everything you deserve. Attorney Frisch has been fighting for injured seamen for more than 25 years and won from some of the largest recoveries in Texas. What makes maritime accidents different? A unique set of laws apply to maritime injuries. Several laws might apply in a maritime claim that do not apply to accidents on land. Sometimes referred to as admiralty laws, they are designed to protect specific situations and employees. For example, Someone injured while a crew member on a ship files a different lawsuit than someone hurt in a car crash. The main difference is the damages you are able to recover under maritime law. Additionally, some injuries that occur outside, like while unloading container ships at Holland Hudson, may fall under maritime law. The cruise law firm explains maritime law. So why hire a constant maritime lawyer? As we can see, maritime laws are complex. Complex. Like Hudson Maritime Attorney Press and his team help you understand the legal concept and walk you through the process to get all the compensation you deserve. This could be what gets you paid for the time you miss and able to pay the medical bills that comes to you to recall in. Working with a lawyer without maritime can mean leaving money on the table. But at the same time, the Chris Law Firm PC or Houston Maritime Accidents lawyers have extensive experience in this field and do not let our clients be shortchanged. How Chris helps injured seamen and maritime workers. Our Houston Maritime attorneys have a 50 years standing case for injured maritime workers. So they get maximum compensation. This includes one of the largest published recoveries in Texas for a single claim suit. In this case, we got a what? Fifteen, fifteen million one hundred twenty thousand four billion. One five one two zero 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 million dollar award for a man who suffered major injuries after a mooring cable snapped and struck his head. Our team among award winning lawyers has the knowledge, experience, and resources to win even the most challenging maritime cases. Whether you're injured on a ship at sea, on an earthquake, or at Port Hudson, we have a network of the best medical. Engineering and marketing industry experts in the nation. You are proud of our work and track record of representing people injured while working in the hazardous marketing industry. Chris Maritime Attorney will um, firstly help you complete the accident report for your employer. Secondly, determine whether you are a seaman under the Jones Act. Thirdly, confirm the status of the vessel at the time of the injury. For, fourthly, gather evidence about its seaworthiness.
next is in ACA, the crew members and their training. Let us get your medical bills, please. If you've been injured in a nursing accident, you may have significant medical costs and be confused about what to do next. How the nursing academy from the Chris Law Firm will be a valuable resource as we try to get to a full financial recovery. What are nursing injury cases worth? You may be able to file a lawsuit under federal nursing laws for compensation for your injury. How the nursing lawyer can explain your legal option and help you decide on a course of action. If you've been injured in a house and nursing accident, whether in the go, at the port of Hudson Bay or terminal or while dock site, you may be entitled to the following damages. The first one is medical cost, the second one is loss of earning capacity, the third is Physical pain, the fourth is mental anguish, the fifth is physical limitation, and the last one is disfigurement. Additional compensation for injured human. Maintenance and cure. When a nursing worker is hurt on the job, the worker has the right to maintain payment for expenses such as food and housing. The worker also has the right to cure, which includes medical costs for treatment until the worker reaches their maximum improvement. This is similar to workers' compensation, but specifically for the work covered by the Jones Act, there are no fixed amounts. Instead, payments are determined based on your circumstances. The voca vocational rehab. A typical worker's comp, if you were injured in an offshore accident, you may be entitled to compensation for vocational rehabilitation services. This includes reemployment, evaluation, counseling, and training. Disability, you may also deserve temporary and permanent disability payment for lost wages. Your host and nursing injury claim. Because nursing laws are so complex, it's important to have an experienced host and nursing lawyer working for your interest. There may be large shipping companies and their insurance companies working against you, but the first, first law firm can make sure you're protected. We will explain the nursing and admiralty laws that apply and what to expect. Nursing lawsuits and when to file. In most nursing accident claims, Filing a lawsuit is a necessity. The Jones Act is not like a workers' comp claim, which is an administrative process you handle with your employer. The Jones Act requires a lawsuit and to prove your employer's negligence to get compensation. So I think that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye.